I'm going to use the area model for division to solve this problem. So to start, I'm going to build my dividend of 154. I'm just going to move this over here to have space. Okay, now I'm going to this divisor of 11, if I'm thinking about it like division, tells me that I'm going to set up one side of a rectangle to be 11 units long. And instead of using part of my dividend, I'm going to use these 11 blocks to be like the length, the measurement of one of those sides. And I'm just going to turn them gray so that I keep track of this is not part of the area that I'm creating. So now since I'm thinking about it like area, I'm going to arrange these blocks in a space here that has a, le a length of 11 on one side. So I can go ahead and take this big 100 and put it there. And then I see that I have space for another row of 10. So those are gonna go there. And now I'm gonna just keep arranging these down here still in a rectangular shape always um, 11 on that side. So I can fill them in. I'm going to go ahead and move all of these down here. Line them up. Then I have these three that fit in this little spot right here. And then in order to find my answer, I'm going to measure this side of the area that I created, or the space that I filled in. So I'm going to use a new block here to measure that. And then I need some ones. And I'm going to go ahead and color those gray again just to help me keep track of that that's my measurement of my length and not part of the area. And so then we can see that the, this side is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The missing side is a length of 14. So the answer to this problem would be 14.